It is Blue Lagoon Day and I am very excited. We're just on our way to get some breakfast now. Um, our pickup is between 8.30 and 9 because we start our Blue Lagoon session at 10. So, very excited. Just about to go outside and start waiting for our bus for the Blue Lagoon. Um, we've bought it through the Blue Lagoon website, so it says it's operated by Smart Bus, so I'm expecting a green bus. Morning! The Panda Bus, it's a big green bus, and it came closer to it's 8.36 now, so don't wait until you pick up time of 9 if you're the same as us. So we've just got off our bus, which has brought us to a Blue Lagoon coach. Minus 6 today, I feel like I'm slightly insane gonna go and sit outside in a bikini. Feels like minus 10. Oh my goodness. Excited? I am really excited, yeah. We are here and we are going to watch the sunrise in the Blue Lagoon. What a thing to say. Happy? Yeah, very happy. I'm so excited. It's about like minus six today, I think. So it's gonna be nice to get in some warm water, but I think the little run from the changing room to there's gonna be a bit chilly. We are gonna be watching sunrise. So that is so exciting. Oh wow, that is stunning. Mum's getting a bit emotional, which it is. It's just one of those like things that like, we just always wanted to do and now we're here doing it and it's just so beautiful especially at this time of day as well like look i just can't get over it. i wonder how warm it's going to be because it's pretty damn chilly today outside but obviously it's it's warm so it's, i don't know but how warm it's going to be we've been given these wristbands and now we're going to go and get changed So this is us at Blue Lagoon, Jasmine. Nice. Oh, this is so, so lovely. What do you think? Just what you'd imagine. Oh, it feels silky almost, the water. <laughs> <laughs> we took a picture just like this. A little fly. I look like I'm a floating head. Oh, I love that. <laughs> this feels lovely. It feels your really skin. nice in your skin, actually. And they've got um, moisturiser you can use after, so I'm definitely using that. Oh, it's so nice. The temperature's literally perfect. It so is. I feel like in a hot tub, it's usually just a little bit too hot. And swimming pools are way too cold always. This is so nice. Is this lava rock? I think so. I think this is lava rock. What can you tell us it's about all the actual frosty. Spring this actual I think this is actually man-made. I don't think this is natural. Is it? Not? I think the silica gives it the colour. Look at the sky. I think. Look at the sky. We're just leaving now, and this is all the lava fields that it's built in. Can't really see it properly in the morning, but it's literally sparkly where the sun's catching it. And now we're going to get on one of the destination blue lagoon buses to go back into town and oh look the moon's still up there and then we've got the sun rising behind us as well wow so done my hair slightly differently it was a bit fluffy and i didn't have time to do it so i thought i'd just plait it um thanks it's quite cute actually i think blue lagoon today that was incredible i feel like i haven't really updated you guys much because um, when we left, we got on the coach and it was very full up. So me and mum had to sit separate to each other and I was going to do a quick catch up then. Wow. That was just, it feels like it happened, but didn't happen. Like, you know, that kind of dreamy feeling. It was so good. It was, yeah, the water was such a nice temperature. It was really relaxing, wasn't it? Really relaxing, yeah. It was nice and like, it was just peaceful and like, felt quite quiet. We got a drink included, so me and mum both cho chose a slushy, which was cute i enjoyed that i did apart from keep getting head freeze yeah mum gets really bad brain freeze when she drinks something cold it was weird because out of the water was so cold but in the water was so warm that even when your shoulders were out it didn't feel that cold but if you was to touch them they felt freezing cold and they told us a story about like how it all started and got this water from like under the ground and they were gonna i think we're gonna use it for energy or something like that and it was um blocking up their machines so they just chucked it on the lava field expecting for it to just like disappear and then it didn't didn't go anywhere and it just formed this like silica 
edge around it and everyone called it what would they call it like the poison pit um yeah. for ages and no one would go near it because they thought it was dangerous and horrible and then people started to get interested by it they just kind of gradually sort of started using it more and they found that it was really good for your skin and like would heal um like help to with eczema and things like that and now it is what it is and they've really like built it up quite rapidly like with the hotel and the spa and all of that it was really interesting to hear actually and we've heard a few stories about their elves or hidden people or apparently they're also called ease dirty children um which i find those stories quite interesting because they're sort of like mythical and a lot of people be like oh that's not real which who knows Is if they are the same, the elves and the ease dirty children and i think so that's what our tour guide was saying yesterday oh, okay. but yeah blue lagoon amazing i think we'd we arrived at 10 and our, our coach back was at 1. I'd say we probably could have done with a little bit more time there. But when you're booking it, you're kind of like unsure on how long you're going to need. Yeah, maybe could have done with longer there because it seems like there's quite a lot more to explore than I realised. When you think about going swimming for like three hours, you think, oh, it seems a bit long, but it's different to that. So I'd say you could go for longer, but we like relaxing and sort of chilling about. So i guess it depends on the person we need to get going soon so we are off to the ice bar so i will catch up with you in a bit it's actually still light outside i was expecting it to be dark i think it's about 20 past four now um so the sun's set but it takes a long time for it to actually get dark after the sun sets so this is where the ice bar is i think it's underneath this shop here so I have people have said that it's not very easy to find but I found it pretty easy to find but I did put it in my map so are you excited I am excited I've always I am. to do an ice bath yeah me too we've never done one have we nope. well, lots I of haven't. cute little shops along this street as well they're really sweet <laughs> we've got our ponchos on you're, now you're on all my vlogs I'm on all your vlogs <laughs> yeah literally and they're very large we've got special gloves so you can pick up the icy drinks these feel very cute. We've got little fairy hoods as well. I'll put that on in a minute. Yep, that's pretty cold. Oh wow, that's amazing. How cute. Wow, that's like... This ice is so clear, look at that. It literally like feels fake, like it feels like plastic. I've just been given these drinks in ice glasses and it's lemonade vodka. I don't know what makes it blue, but it's really nice. There's a Christmas market back up the other way, but I, we might sit outside for that. Mm. It doesn't feel as cold. Why no, it doesn't feel that cold. That light is great. Hello, me. Look at my fake tan. Should we go and have a look up there? Yeah, and let's have a we'll look come back. back. I fancy walking around the Christmas market anyway, let's so go to a Christmas it's not a waste market. of time. Let's go to Christmas let's market. How cute. So we found the Christmas market. This looks really cute. Let's see if we can find some hot chocolate. How sweet. He's got hot chocolates from this really cute little stand. Excited. Let's try. Boomerang. Oh, boomerang. There's so much street art here. Look over here as well. All the rainbows. It's amazing. Yeah, it is a lot quieter. Um, so we've walked back from town now. Our hotel is down there with the Christmas tree. But we're gonna go across the road to the Foss Hotel um, and watch the football match, we think. It was about a 20 minute walk into town, um, but we were like, we went quite far into town. Um, so we're not far from it at all. Um, and it's a pretty simple walk once you find the best route in that. Yeah. Um, whereas the first night we were sort of in and out of everywhere and it felt a bit confusing, but it's, it's good. We're in a good location, I think, but we're not like in the middle of everything. You look cute. I'm from a country that knows how to do cold. Yeah. Like snakes. We've kept really warm actually. The only place that's cold is like here yeah. on my face where it's not covered, but everywhere else is perfectly happy. But um, yeah, let's see if we can get a drink, maybe a little bit of food, and hope England win. 
I just thought I'd come on here and wrap up the day. Um, it's been an amazing day and we're back in the hotel now. Just gonna have a little hot drink and a snack before we go to sleep because tomorrow, very early in the morning at 6.55, we sadly get picked up to go to the airport, but there is lots of exciting things coming up. So that's worth going home for, but it will be sad to be leaving here because I have had the best time and I feel like we've planned it all quite well and got a lot done in pretty much all like three days more or less it was five days in total but then we arrived quite late and we're leaving quite early i'll probably see you in the morning for the airport so it is now time to leave sadly we're all packed up with all of our suitcases and belongings and we're gonna go find the coach and get on the plane back to london but yeah had a great trip really really enjoyed it if I didn't say this already, definitely recommend getting to the Blue Lagoon early because it's quieter and we watch the sunrise come up, which obviously is very, very different in the summer because it barely gets dark. Just something to mention as well, I'm filming out the window because we do this quite often when we're waiting for a bus. We won't actually go outside until it's here. Um, probably not recommended, but we'll do it occasionally with, with certain trips because we know that some of them might come and look for you. Our bus stop is right outside of our hotel that like i'm standing in the hotel now and that's our bus stop whereas some of them might be like around the corner or a little bit of a walk away from your hotel so i'd say that's something to check because it's a very like trip heavy location like a lot of people will generally do a lot of trips so that's just something to note so we're through security now it's very quick no queues for anywhere actually um what's that oh Maybe. We're just getting our little spray of perfume. It's quite nice. Look at the airport is. It's so sweet. Oh my god. It's a mini box. Shops everywhere in this place. Just went to look on the app to see where our plane was. Looked up and it's right there. So that's that question answered. Time to board the plane now. It is sad. Really yeah, we are tired, but. Christmas time now. Christmas, yeah. Just turned up to about thinking, where's all the suitcases? And then here it comes around the corner. I thought, I thought we weren't going to get our suitcase then. So we've been on the bus now. We're back at the car. But there's such a thick frost over it. It literally looks like it's snowed in places, like on trees and stuff like that. I'm just going to show you it on my mum's car. Look at that. That's just like complete frost. That's amazing. Wow. 